On to news that's just coming in, reports say that the Indian Space Research Organization has been trying to re-establish the link with the Vikram lander of, just, of the Chandrayaan-2 and now in the latest that's coming in, according to reports, it's been said that the lander is present in a single piece, it's not broken, the lander has been found in a tilted position on the lunar surface. Israel officials, according to reports, saying that they are making all efforts to try and re-establish communication with the lander. The Vikram lander of the Chandrayaan-2 has not uh, suffered any uh, damage. It's in one piece and uh, the Indian Space Research Organization is trying to re-establish contact uh, with the Vikram lander. Let's get in further details now from our correspondent Nishita Varendra who's been tracking uh, the latest who's uh, joining us now from Bengaluru. Nishita, what more do we know at this point? Well, uh, we understand that after uh, Mr. K. Sivan, the chairman, confirmed that they have identified the location of the lander, our sources uh, within ISRO are telling that uh, the lander is not damaged, it's in one piece. But at the same time, it is still today. It is still a challenge for them to re-establish contact with Vikram, the lander. They had lost contact with the lander just about 2.1 kilometers altitude. And after that, they have not been uh, able to uh, regain connection with the lander. They don't even have much time. It is just for about two weeks that they have time to establish uh, contact with the lander. But it is certainly good news that it is not uh, uh, dismembered into pieces because uh, it, uh, considering uh, its uh, deviation from the predicted path and also the high speed that it was traveling in even when it was at an altitude of 2.1 kilometers. Uh, the, one of the fears was that it has crash landed and it has probably disintegrated. But uh, with sources within ISRO saying that uh, it is in one piece probably uh, the, the probability of establishing contact with uh, Vikram uh, rises significantly, but it continues to remain a challenge even now as to how uh, they will realign the lander and probably take uh, uh, the antenna and make it face towards the ground station, whether it will be possible uh, in, uh, in, from the ground station that, uh, that was remote controlling the lander. So these are the questions that remain unanswered, but certainly a good news for uh, everyone who's worked on Chandrayaan and for the country. Absolutely. Stay on with me, please, Nishita. Also joining us on the broadcast is G. Madhavan Nair, former chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization. Thanks very much, sir, for speaking with us. If you can help our viewers better understand what the latest information tells us. Uh, well, what I understand is that uh, the cameras from the uh, orbiter is able to locate uh, the lander and uh, images show that uh, it is in a single piece, but it is not in the right orientation. Normally, we expect the lander to be on the four legs, but instead it is in a, a slanting position. And uh, uh, the, it is heartening that uh, the entire thing is in one piece. It is not broken up and shattered. Uh, because it was impacting with a fairly large velocity. Now, the real challenge is going to be to re-establish the communication link uh, with the lander. The, for establishing the communication link, one has to have the lander's antenna pointing either towards the orbiter or to the ground station. So this, uh, of course, in a normally, if there's a, a, a spacecraft which is in the uh, space floating around, one can maneuver it uh, easily. But since this is already uh, fallen on the surface of the moon, uh, it is a difficult task to uh, reorient and then bring back the signals from the lander. But still, we are not. We do not have to uh, lose hope. Uh, there is a possibility that we will be able to re-establish contacts and when we re-establish the contact, we can assess to what extent the Pratyan rover as well as the instruments uh, in the lander are functioning and then accordingly the further mission planning can be carried out. Absolutely, sir. sir and the fact remains that uh, in spite of uh, the initial setback that came in uh, as far as the mission is concerned, 
This has been hailed as an achievement by countries across the world already. And uh, the orbiter doing the rounds and carrying out uh, its job has also been regarded as 95% of the mission. So that's another crucial aspect uh, that we are looking at. And the very fact that India has come this far and another uh, layer of uh, positive development now coming in. Uh, you know, uh, as a uh, orbiter is functioning well, we will be able to do most of the science what we wanted, uh, and it may have a life more than what we have predicted. But at the same time, the lander uh, mission is concerned. Uh, it is uh, really satisfying to note that the mission sequence went off very precisely up to 2.1 kilometer altitude. From there, there was a deviation seen, and uh, reasons for this deviation has to be assessed. But, you know, it was a very, very complex operation we were trying to do uh, when it was to have the soft landing. There are uh, onboard sensors like cameras, laser altimeter, and uh, the onboard computer, software, gyroscopes, and so on. So all these have to work precisely and give the commands to the four uh, thrusters. If there is a malfunction in any of these elements, it can lead to this kind of phenomena. But at the same time, uh, it is really uh, uh, satisfying that the impact point is very close to what is predicted. That means the, the deorbiting and uh, bringing the spacecraft down to the moon has happened as planned and that shows the, 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 our capability in uh, uh, taking the space, the lander uh, to a precise location. Unfortunately, in the last instance, perhaps any one of these elements would have malfunctioned and it would have resulted in the uh, uh, deviation and uh, finally uh, heart landing uh, on the right. surface of the moon. Absolutely. We're going to leave it there for the moment. Thanks very much, uh, uh, sir, for uh, breaking down for us what the latest information indicates and what it means. G. Madhavan Nair, former chairman of ISRO, uh, helping us better understand that this is, of course, another layer of a positive, positive development that's coming in. The lander Vikram of the Chandrayaan-2 is found intact in a tilted position and ISRO is still trying to re-establish communication as our correspondent Richita Varindra is also telling us.